Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got a Black Friday haul. I actually feel like I haven't done a haul in quite a while. Or is that just me? Probably just me. Yeah, I've been trying to refrain from doing huge orders from different specific places, although that hasn't really worked for ASOS. I thought today I would show you everything that I've been buying the last couple of weeks and mainly like the discounts that I've got, especially from ASOS. Like, I've gotten a lot from ASOS. And yeah, I thought I'd just share that with you today. So if you'd like to see that, then please carry on watching. I do apologize, but I actually don't have any trial clips today. It just hasn't happened. <laughs> but I have got things from ASOS, lots of other random stuff to show you. But I'm gonna start off with ASOS because I definitely have gone mad for it recently. I just can't stop ordering from ASOS. They've just had like 20% off, 25% off. So I feel like I've just made so much savings. So I'm going to show you that now. One of my most successful purchases in the last few weeks has been this pair of faux leather knee high? Is it knee high? Yeah, knee high boots. I'm in love with them. I've been trying to find the perfect pair of knee high boots for what feels like the longest time. And when I saw these chunky, they're actually new look boots come into ASOS, I just thought they looked absolutely perfect. They weren't too expensive. I think they were £39.99. Um, I got 25% off as well. They are just amazing. They're literally the perfect height. A little bit chunky, but not too chunky. Perfect height. I love that they're just all plain black leather and they fit like a glove. Before ordering those, I ordered quite a similar pair from H&M, but they were just way too loose around my leg and they just weren't flattering, but these ones are perfect. So if you're thinking about getting some knee high boots from New Look, because that's what the brand actually is, then I definitely recommend it because I'm obsessed. <laughs> Next up, I've actually got a couple of things from the brand is actually Stradivarius. I don't actually have a lot from this brand, but it always like pops up a lot on ASOS and I find that I like a lot of their stuff. So it is this adorable cute jacket. I was just seeing so many people wearing jackets and I was like okay I really want one now. I'm trying to resist it but I do really want one. It just looks so cosy like cottage core vibes and I just wanted to find one that was like perfect colour, perfect pattern and I think I did. I absolutely love this so so much. It's sort of like greys and like muted beiges and I just think this is absolutely adorable. The fit is amazing and yeah I just think this on top of like a jumper is just super super adorable so yeah this is my jacket and I kind of want more. <laughs> and then also from Stradivarius I actually picked up an aviator jacket which I've never owned an aviator, I don't know why, I just think whenever I've tried to order one or tried one on in the past, they've always just been really stiff and I just really haven't liked the feel of it, but this one is the best. It is this, I don't even know what material this is, faux suede I guess, with like faux fur, um, all in the inlining and on the outside as well. I don't know if you can see that very well. I really should have done trial clips. I apologise. Yes, I just wanted to get this video up. So it looks like this and it is just the cuddliest thing. It fits so nicely. It's not stiff at all. It's really comfy. So yeah. I've always kind of wanted to have an aviator jacket but I've always wanted one that's quite cosy. So I think I found the one. <laughs> Next up I got this, yeah, turtleneck this just like really cosy knit turtleneck and if you can't tell it is in like a dark chocolate brown so it's not just black even though it does look very dark on camera and I just really wanted like a chocolate brown jumper so I ordered this one and another one but this one was just so soft and it's actually from New Look which I'm really shocked by because I don't know I never shop at New Look I just don't sometimes I find things from New Look on ASOS that I love but I never actually directly shop from New Look if that makes any sense. When I do find something from New Look that I love I'm always like genuinely quite surprised so this is literally so 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 soft. I absolutely adore it. I've already worn it a couple of times because I just loved it so much. I know I said I wouldn't buy too many jumpers this year but this one was a must. <laughs> Next I picked up a knitted pleated skirt 
which again is something that when I sit on other people I'm like I really want something in that kind of style. This one is actually Fashion Union and it's in this like I want to say like cream off-white and it's kind of like a midi skirt but it's like I said it's knitted but it's also pleated so I just thought this would be so so cute. I don't really have any skirts this kind of length. All my skirts are kind of like mini skirts but the thought of like this in like the autumn winter I just thought it would be really cute because it's knitted as well and it fits perfectly. It's really tight on the waist but then flows out so I just think it gives you like the perfect shape. Yeah, again, I feel like I've gotten something from Fashion Union recently. I'm not too sure what, but I feel like I've been noticing them a lot on ASOS more recently as well. So yeah, I really like that. Right, last couple of bits from ASOS. I picked up a Nike hoodie. I didn't need it, but um, I, don't, I don't think I showed this in a haul. No, but like a month or two ago, I picked up like a beige oversized Nike like sweater. And oh my god, it's become like my favourite thing in the whole world. It's so cosy. I literally wear it all the time around the house. When I saw this, I was just like, I really do want like a black zip-up hoodie. And I just know that this is the one that I wanted. Um, so it's just like your basic black zip-up, like tracksuit hoodie. Yeah, I do think it's a bit cropped. And then it's just got the white tick here. And I love it so much. Something about night loungewear just gets me, you know? Like it is expensive, but I don't have much loungewear, so that's why I allow it. <laughs> then very basic, but I picked up some black cycling shorts. In an ASOS haul a few months ago, I picked some up in grey, I think, and they fit beautifully, but I was like, I don't know why I got them in grey. Why didn't I get them in black? So I have, and again, they fit perfectly. Not something I necessarily wear in like a outfit to go out, but for like lounging around the house with like a sweater or hoodie, yeah, basically. Kind of more like loungewear, um, I was sort of thinking, but because I don't have many shorts. So there we go, and they weren't too expensive either. And lastly from ASOS, I actually picked up this cute little black satin bow hair tie. I bought this a few months ago, and then I didn't tie it tight enough around my ponytail, and it fell out while I was outside, like in the shop. And I could never find it again, so I've learnt my lesson. I did love it so much that I ordered it again. And I know to wear it a bit tighter next time, because or else it will fall off again. I think it's just because it's got like a little bit of weight to it, it's got a lot going on. So if you don't tie it tight enough, it will just fall out, but I do love it. Right, I'm now going to move on to Topshop, which there actually isn't too much of. I kept myself very restrained. I thought... I don't know, the last few months there hasn't been tons from Topshop that I've really loved. So I've just got two pieces to show. The first being this pair of more like a light chocolate brown, I guess, ribbed flared leggings slash trousers. I'd say flared leggings, I think, because it's sort of that stretchy material. And it's got a tie at the top and yeah, it sort of flares out here. I just love the colour of these. I've been a bit obsessed with brown. I don't know, I've just been living in brown recently. And also just comfy, stretchy bottoms. It's just my favourite thing to throw on. Like, if I'm wearing anything, I'm like, leggings, stretchy trousers. <laughs> um, it's just sort of my go-to at the moment. So, yeah, I really like those and the colour. I just don't have anything in this sort of colour. So I just thought it was beautiful. And lastly from Topshop, I got a classic black coat. I've said this in videos before, but I do have enough coats. However, I did really want like a classic black coat and I saw, I can't remember what her name is, someone on Instagram, she was talking about this being her, like her favourite black classic coat from Topshop and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, but it's quite like a nice formal coat, it's got quite like big pockets and yeah, it's just very classic as the name says. And yeah, I just think this will literally go with everything. I like that it's a little bit oversized. Not much to say about that, um, but I'm really excited to wear that. I just think it will go with so much. Definitely not your warmest coat, but you know, if you layer up underneath, it'll be fine. I have also gotten a few other pieces of clothing that I didn't necessarily get in the sale, but I thought I would just mention anyway. So I was looking for a really cute, like beige pleated skirt. I just couldn't seem to find any anywhere but I found this website called Weekday and I actually have 
heard of weekday because i think i've bought things from there from asos before but i picked up this little cute it's like a muted cool beige color and this little cute pleated skirt i do have like a white pleated skirt which i bought from asos however that is definitely a lot more summery in my head like i kind of bought it for next year however i do think that even though it is like a mini pleated skirt because it's like beige i just feel like this is a little bit more autumn style so i did think that was super cute and it was only about 20 pounds i think and then i also picked up this dress that i'm wearing silly charlotte i honestly didn't really think this through because i don't really know how you're going to see this but i can always pop a picture on screen or something i ordered this like i'd say it's like a mini knit dress um with this high neck in the shade black did i even say where it's from it's from abercrombie and fitch <laughs> and it was pretty expensive However, when I saw on Freddie's stories, she had it in like a burgundy. Burgundy definitely is not my colour and I saw it in white and black, so I ordered it in both. However, I did think the white one is the one I was going to end up keeping, but because it was white, I feel like you could see the stitching around here and I really just didn't like it. Like there's a stitch going around here and it is on this dress as well, but because it's black, you can't see it. And I did think, I was like, I don't know, a black knit dress, I was like, I didn't really think I'd keep that one but I actually think it's really cute it's so so soft and yeah I love it if I could have kept more colours I would have but <laughs> as it was quite expensive I was only gonna let myself keep one and luckily I did like the black one a lot more than I like the white one so yeah I really like this <laughs> we are down to a few random bits so I let myself buy something from Missoma. It's a little bit naughty. I don't usually buy myself jewellery. Not like pricey jewellery. I usually like buy some jewellery from Topshop or ASOS but I don't usually buy nice jewellery. But I've just kind of been fed up with not having rings. I just kind of want more rings. I tried to pick up, to be fair, I've wanted like a really basic ring for quite a while and they were having 25% off for Black Friday. Um, So I will probably do some close-ups because you're actually not going to sleep. I will try and show you. So as you can see in that little close-up, it is kind of like, it's a very simple banded ring, but it's almost kind of like rope, if you know what I mean. Like it kind of looks like a rope ring, um, which I really like. So it's just like a little tiny bit of detail and it sort of fits my second fingers. I think that's the only one it fits. I'm not too sure. I really, really like that. So I'm really happy that I got that. Um, because with 25% off, I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Next up, I've got one of my favourite perfumes, because it is definitely running out, and I'm kind of scared to use it. Well, I won't be now. This used to be my night out perfume, believe it or not, when I used to go out. I literally just used to wear this on nights out, so I don't even know how I used it up, because I didn't even used to go out that much. But it is the Black Opium Eau de Toilette, not the Parfum. It is definitely the Eau de Toilette that I like. And yeah, I've just kind of been scared to use it up. I didn't want to run out of it. And I also didn't want to pay the money for a perfume because I just, I don't know, I've never bought myself a perfume before this one. Um, but in the Black Friday sales, the black opium was 50% off. Yeah, it was down from £65 to £32.50. And then I got 10% off on top. So it was so, so worth it. And I ended up using like a gift card for it. So I'm really excited that I can start wearing this perfume again now. Um, as it's just one of my favourites. And then we are down to the last item, which again, I didn't get this on sale or anything. I just thought I'd mention this at the end. I somehow managed to lose every single pair of glasses that I own this year. I don't know how, I don't know where they go, where they disappear to, it's really bad. So I thought I would try this brand, Ace and Tape. So I did a home try on and ordered loads of them. And then I finally, uh, and then I finally ordered some with my prescription and I decided to keep a pair, which I really liked. Um, I did kind of want to keep another pair as well, but they're not the cheapest glasses, I'll give it that. Just thought I'll keep one for now because I do need at least one pair to be able to see. I got these ones, which are super cute. They are, I don't know if you can see better there, or worse. They are, I don't know what they're called, but they're like gold metal glasses, but they've got this bar at the top as well. And I did kind of just want some quite cute gold glasses so I feel like <laughs> I never wear glasses on camera I mean to be fair anyone watching this is probably thinking you wear glasses you didn't know that yeah I do but I only really need them for like watching things reading oh my god this makes my eyes look 
small. <laughs> I do really like them though, I do think they're really cute. And in case you're wondering, yes, when I look at my viewfinder on my camera, I am blind. Like, I'm just a blur over there. But yeah, I do think these are really cute and I don't know. If you're looking for some nude glasses to try, try their home try on because I just think it's such a good idea. You don't have to pay any money, you just pick a couple of pairs that you like the look of, send them back and you know, if you don't want to buy any, you don't have to but you'll probably find some that you like. <laughs> so there we go, that's the end of my Black Friday haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll try and link as many things down below in the description box for you that I can. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.